Hello everybody, it's Nicholas B. Church, and today we're playing the Elder Scrolls Online Beta. Um, if for some of you who have watched uh, my playthrough of the Skyrim uh, Let's Play series, uh, my modded adventures, um, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of Bethesda and all of their work. Um, but today we're going to ask the question, does there need to be an Elder Scrolls Online? And, well, so far, I can say yes. Yes, there does. Because this is pretty awesome. So, alright, let's jump right into it. And let's see. I guess we'll just go through the classes first. Um, through my playthrough series, I actually played a... A, a Breton? A Breton? I just call them Bretons. Uh, I don't know if that's actually how you pronounce it or not. I've heard a billion different people call it a billion different ways. But anyway, yeah. Human. Normal human. Nothing, nothing weird there. High Elf. You know, actually, not, not bad, not bad, not a bad elf. You know, um, they Bethesda is notorious for making like really horrible elves. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, let's see, Argonian. Yep, still don't like Argonians. That's cool. He's using like a turtle shell as a shield. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Ooh, I like that sword. It looks like the Book of Eli sword. Uh, for some of you who've watched that fantastic movie. Orc. I like to play an orc every now and then. Um, I don't think I will this, this playthrough. <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's see. This is the wood elf. Scary. Rather feminine. Uh, it's not bad though. It's not bad. Let's let's see what the random appearance is like. Ooh yeah. Not bad. I like how they're going more with the the human approach, looking, you know, the the human face uh, of the elves, uh, going away from the what used to be. Um, anyway, let's look at the dark elf. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Um, I I do like the the coloring of the skin. Uh, it is it is pretty cool. Um, about around what I would expect a dark elf to look like. In all honesty, you know. Pretty, not bad, not bad. The the red guard. Uh, I've always really been fond of red guards. Um, this guy does look pretty cool. Uh, let's see the Kashit. Yep, still a cat. <laughs> it's a pretty good looking cat though. I, think, I guess uh, a Nord. Ah, the valiant Nord. I think I will probably be playing a Nord. Um, but anyway, the the um, I'm going to be going through. Sorry, I can't. I guess I just can't talk. I'm going to be going through the first levels and everything, and then when we're in the outside world, then we will be meeting up with uh, James Hobbs, and then we'll be playing together. Uh, so yeah, fun on a bun. Um, that is a wicked beard. <laughs> that is a wicked beard. Um, but uh, also, those of you who know my playthrough uh, series of Skyrim: The Modern Adventures. Um, you will know that I do enjoy playing playing females. Um, I'm a lot like Eagle Raptor in that regard. Um, for those of you who've heard of him, um, only my childhood hero. <laughs> but yeah, I will be playing a Nord female sorceress. I do believe I'll be playing a sorceress. But the classes that you get to choose from are the Dragon Knight, which look like it's kind of the more one-handed sword shield combo kind of thing but i bet they have a more of a a plethora you know yeah master of arms um and then of course the sorcerer which i will be playing that's kind of cool Ooh, i like the staff very uh um like celtic very saxon e uh the night blade uh, you know take a guess at what they do uh, <laughs> the stealth character um it's pretty cool. Oh, uh, yeah, also over here in the previews, you can see what the veteran armor looks like. Yep, that is what a stealth character will look like. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, all right, anyway, then the Templar. The Templar is kind of more of the interesting class. It, I I guess it's more of the battle mage, if you will. I'm using bunny ears, even though no one can see them. But the bunny ears uh, definitely do proclaim that um, it is a battle mage that if you want to be a healer but you don't really want to be a sorceress and you, you, you want to use you know a big axe but still heal your compadres then I guess that's that's more for you I almost want to be a Templar but I think I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a sorceress because I don't really feel like too, honestly too many people are gonna you know 
play the mage. I could be completely wrong, though. Let's see what the veteran gear is for the sorceress. That is what a sorceress looks like. I completely disagree with it, but I'm expecting, you know, it being made by Bethesda and, you know, the creators of the Elder Scrolls, there's probably going to be hundreds upon hundreds of different armors and everything to choose from. So, um, let's see, let's go into the body mapping. Alright, I'm going to try and make this pretty quick in all honesty, because, I mean, I've, I've done this a couple of times now, uh, making characters and everything. So I'm just going to kind of going to go through and uh, tell you what I think about... Uh, uh, quite honestly, for me, one of the most important things in, like, any game uh, is the character creation. Um, for Total Biscuit, it is the settings. Uh, for me, it's the character creation. Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh, first of all, no gear. No perv here. No perv. Uh, just gotta get a better idea. Oh, jeez. Uh, let's see, we kinda want a little bit more muscular, maybe a little bit more large, it's fine. Or do we want to go more with the shrimpy wimpy of the sorceresses, sorcerai, magi. Let's go with the more shrimpy wimpy. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, yeah, you get scars and stuff, too. I wonder if you can get piercings. I actually didn't really go too in-depth in the whole, like, um, you know, add-ons of what you could do to your person, uh, which is actually honestly kind of surprising. Um, but it seems like every time I make a character in this game, I'm in a hurry, and well, this time is no different. All right, let's see. Thin, thick, large. Just kind of go with a little bit of the in between, you know. Uh, let's see. The height. It's pretty good height, actually. Skin color. Uh, being a mage, I imagine they're being a little bit paler, but ooh, it's a little too pale. Let's give her a little bit more color. Uh, it's too much color. Yeah, it's about where we were. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Body markings. Um, there is a bunch to choose from um ooh, these are these are pretty cool and each like like everyone is different um but let's see since we're gonna be playing more of a saxon character you know i feel like there should be a little bit more of the tribal art aspect to it you know a little bit more of the witchery if you will you know oh geez i went way too far all right i really don't want to go through every single one of these so we'll just do a quick little blip through them if I see one that just I can't live without. I think the rest of these might be ooh, wait, might be cool back tattoos. Yeah, let's go back. Nope, nothing cool. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, that that's like the uh, African scarification. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, a lot of scars, a lot of scars, a lot of scars. Um, that's pretty cool. Okay, bad complexions and stuff like that. Let's go more into the paint. I like the paint. That one paint was actually kind of wicked. Like, this one's pretty cool, but I did not want to zoom out all that way. Let's see. Come on. And... Um, but in case some of you are curious about my settings, um, they're pretty much all on Ultra, except for Water Reflection. I, I don't know. That was, like, the one thing that was, like, bogging me down. Otherwise, I you generally get a solid 60 frames per second, but while I'm recording, it will be 30 frames per second. Um, just because, honestly. Um, but, yeah. So, just in case any of you are wondering about, kind of, like, it looks like it's kind of poor frame rate. I do bust out 60, but for this playthrough, it's just going to be on 30. Um, let's see. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I don't like the face markings, though. That's in this so we'll get there eventually um let's see you can actually change your chest size one day video games will know what breasts look like <laughs> i guess wow this is kind of kind of bad honestly like you can even change the quote gut size um yeah that's interesting i guess we'll just there right there okay anyway um i guess we'll just i don't know like <laughs> I don't know where to put the chest size. No perv, really. Seriously, no perv. But still, I guess, I don't know. I don't want it to be like, you know, I want her to be wanting for more. But like, yeah, these, <laughs> okay, I guess that's good. I'm just going to quit messing with it. I swear I'm going to quit messing with it. All right, anyway, waist size. Beep. Because we are trying to make kind of a shrimpier looking mage, though, at the same time. So it's like arm size, I'm pretty much just going to go all the way down. Hand size. Small hands. Let's go get a little bit bigger. 
don't want to be. I don't want him to have her to have sausage fingers, but at the same time, yeah. All right. Oh, oh, oh torso size. I didn't even mess with this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's a real shrimpy looking mage, you know. Those tattoos are or painting or whatever they just paintings. They're just, they're cool. They're really cool. All right. Uh, anyway, let's see hip size. Guess we'll just kind of go more for the shrimpy thing. I don't want to like turn all of them down, but I do want to kind of make that shrimpy mage, you know. Um, okay. Anyway, uh, leg size. Yeah. Yeah. Their foot size. Tiny feet. <laughs> <laughs> tiny, tiny feet. Uh, okay. Anyway, so that's not bad. All right. Now we'll put the gear back on. That's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, all right. Let's see. Let's go into um, age. Yeah, because she's super young. Um, heroic, soft. Uh, what is what is complete soft? All right. And then let's go soft but heroic. I feel like that's pretty cool. Voices. Now this is something that a lot of people, and a lot of video games in general just, you know, kind of look over, like, that's, okay, that one's kind of dumb. <laughs> I get this all day, just play with these voices. Oh, jeez. Um, let's see, what we're gonna see, the... I wish they had more than grunting noises on here. <laughs> I wish I had a better idea of, of what exactly I'm choosing. Whoa. Okay, let's go to F. I just feel like I need to spam click it to... That's, that's kind of cool. I, I wouldn't mind if she had like an evil laugh. I think that would be kind of cool. Ooh, that's pretty evil laugh. Kind of old. Actually, uh, I am going to mention the last closed beta. When we had, when the closed beta last time was live, the voices were actually a lot different. Um, you know, so I don't know. I don't honestly know why they changed them. And I don't think there was this many. I think it only went to F, actually. And if I remember right, last time I actually did choose F. Okay, this is kind of dumb. Okay, let's just, I think it was D I liked. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm going to choose D. All right, anyway, hairstyle. Um, instead of going through all of them, there is one in particular that I think I am going to choose this time. Because uh, it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, let's see. It is this one. And because we're kind of going more for the Saxon crazy hair look. Um, let's see, how about red? Ooh, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Because uh, we're more of the Celtic. We're Celtic. And don't worry, the face paint will come off. Uh, I promise, if I remember. Okay. Dark? No. Okay, here we go. Um, let's see. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wait. Wait. These are pretty cool, but... That one's doing it for me. It's all... It has, like, the hair kind of thing on it. It reminds me of Conan the Barbarian. Um, and that kind of has that, like, Hiberian look. Um, I do like it. I like it. All right. Now we're finally at face markings. Oh, jeez, those eyebrows. Those eyebrows are going to need to change. Um, we can either go with the freckle look, um, which isn't too bad. Um, or... The kind of sassy look. We'll go with the sassy look. We're feeling rather sassy today. Um, all right, let's see. Jaw size. Blah, 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 blah. No one really cares. Uh, if I had, if I had the time, I would just go ahead and I'd mess with these. But you know, we don't. We're kind of pressed for time, so we're just gonna go ahead and. Hmm. Mm, I do kind of like the blue eyes, but the green eyes are pretty green. It's not bad. Or do we want that? What was this one? That's like super bright. We'll just go with the green. I like green. All right. I size. How, how is this? Oh, okay. I see how it's changing it. All right. Uh, I angle. 
And no, right there. And all right, squinting. Let's open them up a little bit more. There we go. Uh, eyebrows. Like, quite honestly, in my opinion, one of the hardest things to ever choose in a video game. Wait, wait, wait. Eh. Kind of has that too too much of a pitiful look, because I mean we're still we're still heroic, you know. We're still we're still out there. We're still out there doing things. Ooh, wait, I think I saw one with a scar. That was kind of cool. Well, that's yeah, that's kind of a scar. That's not bad. That's not bad. All right, no shape. Okay, we got nose shape, mouth, lip fullness, lips. Can be... Listen, you need to tone down your lips, girl. You need to tone those down. There we go. You're an adventurer, not a hussy. <laughs> um, let's see. Lip fullness, blah, 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 blah. no shape. Let's change the nose up. Let's see what kind of noses we got. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill out, girl. All right. All right, well, I guess we might just leave it, because it's not bad. Uh, nose height. Nose height's fine. Nose width. Kind of shrink it down just a little bit. Nose length. I'm just gonna shrink it a little bit and kind of a little bit of flatter face, but I still feel I still feel the Celtic vibe from it. All right, fantastic. We're going to go ahead and name this chick. What are we gonna name her? Hmm. I don't know. How about uh, Kara Sue? Um. Uh. Uh. Kara Sue. Uh, mm. oh, 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 that's right, you can have spaces. Clover. Karasu Clover. Seems seems legit. Alright. And... Alright. Create. Pull the trigger. Logging in. Logging in, logging in. Ah, oh, okay. So... First things first with this is that there is actually a lot more similarities to um, uh, Amalur, um, Kingdoms of Amalur, than one might think. All right. Um, first of all, if you go back and you remember Amalur, if you've ever played it, uh, go back and remember Amalur, and then remember this game. And the art styles, I kid you not, will clash quite a bit. And then go back and remember actually like playing the game. And if you don't know the story of Elder Scrolls and how it starts out, well, you're not far off from Amalur. So just throwing that out there. And but as you notice, um, first off, we're in a prison. Um, you know, go figure. Um, and the second thing you'll notice is that it looks a lot like Skyrim. Cool. Um, but the other thing you'll notice is that, in, like in Skyrim, I can't pick any of this stuff up. So, I mean, that kind of sucks. Just throwing that out there. But, I love the attention to detail. Because, like, you know, you got your you got your light attack, just a little punch. But then you got your heavy attack, which is like, I like it. I like it. But also, like, in Skyrim, how, oh yeah, oops, I got a little too close. Anyway, um, yeah, I can't, yeah, I can't pick up anything. Which is all right. I right, talk to the prophet. We're talking to the prophet. Let's talk to this guy. So, Lena, you've been through an ordeal. Take a few moments to collect yourself. What? What's happening? Who are you? Like you, I'm a prisoner in this place. Yet so much more. I am the past and the future. Both. I am despair and hope. The tapestry we weave is a complex one. You cannot hope to see its pattern in its entirety. Not yet. What do you want from me? You it's must a very rescue manly me, voice that I, that in turn, on. must rescue you. You must escape from this cell, take up arms, and protect yourself. Then find Lyris Titan. Alright, sweet. Alright, uh, there's things I don't understand. Oh no, no, don't fade away. I don't understand. No. Everyone's breaking out. You there. We are escaping. You know, Let me open your door. I hate Argonians, but that's it. Quickly, you must escape before okay, the so guards return. Okay. Everyone, quickly. All right, 
cool. Uh, I'm gonna pick Quickly. up pick up stuff. Oh, no, I wanna pick up stuff. Okay, I can't. Holding down shift. Really hope I don't have sticky keys on, even though I probably do. Um, Alright, guy. Arms Come on, I'm gonna save you. Escape. We're escaping. Come here, just let me just let me untie you here. You'll make it. Looks like he's pointing. He's pointing like over here ish. I wonder if there is something. Like I just got curious. Oh, I can't open it up. I feel like he's totally pointing to that. He is totally pointing to that door. Huh. That's kind of cool. I wonder if there is actually like something in that door. That'd be kind of cool. Um, alright. Anyway, let's see. Ooh. Look at all this. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, really. And, I mean, look at all these torture devices. And, also, that is just wicked. Oh, yeah. This is actually kind of different from the other one. Um, because I don't, I don't remember that. I feel like I would have commented on that before. Uh, alright. Also, I was able to actually loot these people last time. Just throwing that out there. I don't know about that too much. But I was actually able to loot those people, and I was actually able to get, uh, I believe it was just like one coin off of them, but, you know, whatever. Um, I think there was actually something on there I could pick up. Alright, anyway, so here's something that I love. In any other MMO I have ever played, it would be like, you know, it might be a room like this, and then it would point you to one thing that you can pick up because it's class locked. I can pick this up, and I'm assuming that I can use it. Um, that's pretty awesome. Ooh, this is a cool staff. Uh, I don't want a restoration staff, though. I want I want a staff of hurty. I want, I want a, a hurt hurt staff. Where's my hurt hurt staff? All right, well, I guess it's this one. Even though it's super, super weird. All right. Anyway. Um. All right. Yep. Take take all. R. Do it. Do it. Hit I. Hitting I. All right. Here's where honestly this game super shines is in the inventory system. It's the most simple laid out inventory system like ever. So anyway, we're gonna equip this. All right. Let's see. Press it for light attack. Hold for whatever, and then take position stance with right click. All right. Sweet. Um, advanced tactics, blah blah blah. You hold both of them at the same time. Enemies go bleh. So sweet. All right, now I got my staff all hooked up. Let's see what it looks like. All right, that is definitely not what that staff looked like. Fair enough, but it is a staff of frost. Um, let's see. An enemy approaches. An enemy approaches. Strike it down. Take my wet fart. Search. Do Yay, and it's, it, it's kind of funny. Of the the indecision becomes decision. Okay, yeah, dude. Shut up. Anyway, so the noise for the skeleton is exactly the same as it was in Skyrim. I don't know if they copy and pasted or just got a you know a better you know a better copy of it or I don't know you know a better recording of it. Excuse me. Burp. Um, but yeah, it's like exactly the same. <laughs> Just to throw that out there. Another right. enemy blocks the path ahead. Dispatch it quickly. Oh. Just one more. Uh oh. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that was cool. Cool. Are you all right? Oh yeah. Cool. Cool special move. Level up. Heck yeah. And then C. We're gonna go level up real quick. All right. Add a special plus to whatever. Uh, we don't have any titles yet, that's fine. Rank of Cicicin. Um We're going to go ahead and upgrade mana since we are a mage, but in our, and our overall mana is actually lower than our health, and anyone who plays a, you know, a mage character will know that your mana will always be above your health. Um, Alright, let's see. Any skills actually didn't go in here last time. Um, okay, that's interesting. Oh, uh, you sure you want to purchase it? Oh, uh, I guess I, I guess I can. Actually, just I, I never was in here last time because uh, I don't think it was working properly or something. Daedric summoning. Mmm. Mmm. Unstable familiar. Well, that's interesting. All right, Mage's Fury. Um, eh, might go ahead and just start off with um. You know, just some straight up damage. I mean, this deals 30, uh, 30, ugh, 37 magic damage to. Uh, there we go. There it is. Uh, to an enemy, knocked down for two seconds. That's not bad. But that. The unstable familiar is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and unlock the unstable familiar. 
because that sounds pretty pimp. All right, so I guess if I hit one, it'll... Dude, that's awesome. My familiar is a gross-ass monkey. Whoa, whoa, no racist. All right, there we go. Uh, let's see. You've got more meat on your bones than most of these poor bastards, and I see you've armed yourself. Good. All right, now just listen to her so voice. Fight left in you. You're going to need it. Who is she from? Or what is she from? Think about it. Now think about it. Is your mind blown yet? It's Commander Shepard, the female Commander Shepard from Mass Effect. Yep, this is her cameo appearance. All right, who are you? A fellow prisoner. The name's Lewis. All right, cool. What? Who told you to find me? Uh, old man in rags. Prophet. He spoke to you? What did he you say? You said fates are intertwined. Ha. That sounds like the Prophet, all right. He's a prisoner here, too. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you, even for a moment. Uh, I can still hear his voice in my head. It's driving still me crazy. Me. Break <laughs> him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. Cool. That Down to clown. Weapon ready and I sharp. have so this many questions. All right, goodbye. Surprise. Sweet. Um, all right. Uh, I, I am just kind of, in a way, plowing through the, the first part. I have done it before, and also I want to get to the, you know, the meat of the game. I want to get to the, to, to the sweet parts. Um, you know, because this is all still tutorial. Dude, I still have my little familiar. Dude, that is so hype. I love my little familiar. Um, I might. There's a stack of bone. There's a mighty. These tunnels will eventually take us. Trust in her. Attacking familiar. Protect me. Attack me. Or don't attack me. Do something that isn't involving me being hurt in some way, familiar. Dude, he's so like gross. All right, oh yeah, I guess I can sprint. I'll just do this way. This game is also very reminiscent of, um, oh crap. Uh, it's very reminiscent of, um, I'll think of it, uh, Guild Wars, uh, Guild Wars 2. Um, for some reason, these uh, some of these missions really remind me of, oops, of the Courage, Estage. Oh, nope, can't Confidence pick anything up. Remind me of just some of the hits. like more dungeon crawly missions in uh, Guild Wars 2. Um, Guild Wars 1, in my opinion, was better. But no, the a lot of the the missions in here remind me of it. It's just like a more polished version. Like if I especially when I go out in third person, I was super reminiscent of Guild Wars. Um, and also another game that I can't remember right now, but it's a free to play game and it it really wasn't that great um, but more when we're actually out in the world it, it reminds me of the game Terra it, it's basically like a bunch of games <laughs> with like everything that was good from um, like just certain games and then just put it all together and then said hey we can use Elder Scrolls stuff and then some guy in the back's like this game's gonna be fucking radical <laughs> but um, we're about Halfway through the tutorial, so we're getting close to seeing Hobbs. <sighs> we made it. Not yet, really. I'm still just a shrimpy, wimpy mage. Oh yeah, I gotta sneak during this. I mean, you don't really need to sneak, but... You know. It's whatever. There is an Argonaut. Over there, a flame all not. Take frost. Boom. Right, I'm not gonna. Oh yeah, they blow up. I'm not going to spend ten years. Uh, oh yeah, I need to talk to her. Um, Come, the sentinels are at the top of those towers. We need to find a sentinels? way up. Magical constructs created by Molag Bal to guide his vision. All right, cool. Uh, how can the we destroy it? I have no idea. Brute force. We'll find all right, way. let's go. Sweet. All right, and then just like in Skyrim, we got the little compass thing at the top, and then man, these people are just raging right now. Um, okay, just actually, kind of grind just a little bit, not a whole lot. Dude, I love that familiar. That's pretty cool. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I think I, I wonder if I can summon more. Oh, well, I'm not gonna be greedy about it right now. Okay, let's see. It should be up here. Okay. This, unfortunately, this little mission I'm on right now took me a sad amount of time to realize that I had to go through here. I was... I was just... 
I was just going through and oh my god, there's a person. But yeah, I was going through and I'm like, where is this place? And I'm pretty sure I'd like what the devil times just from like killing so many things. Alright, anyway, so we're making our way up. Making our way up. Oh jeez. Alright, well he's going after him, so I don't really care. Sprint Sprint You know, I bet a lot of people are going to play um just some sort of melee character just so they can dual wield in in an MMO like properly. Because 90% of MMOs, if you do play MMOs or have played MMOs, uh, you know, you usually get the whole, um, you know, like twin blade kind of thing. Um, but in this, uh, I guess not, you know. Oh, I, okay, I guess destroy. Yay! <laughs> but yeah, so you can have like different. Quickly. While he's blinded, we must get to the... The Prophet's enclosure isn't far. Let's, Let's go. go! All right. But, um, yeah, you know, you get... He's like, oh, yeah, you get, the like, these daggers. Knows of your oh, my God. Hurry. You get daggers, but, um, they're always, like, they always look the same, you know. And me being an aesthetics person, you want to have, uh, you want to have two different, uh, two different things, you know. You want to have one blade that looks one way, and one blade that looks a completely another way. I mean, it's it's understandable. And it's something that I feel like a lot of people, a lot of game makers, uh, kind of overlook, you know. It's just one of those details, you know. Um, but let's see. Alright, now we're supposed to get to the Prophets. Which I th is up there now. And I think there was something else that's going to go wrong. What do I need it? Ah, hell. Which way is it? Oh, yeah. It's right here. Alright, let's see. This person's still sneaking. Like a sneaky snake. He's sneaky snaking. I don't think I could be an archer in this game. Although I pretty much am, just with magic. You know one thing I realized? We're supposed to be in Oblivion. I, you know? In the Daedric Lands. Why is everything so blue? Um, just want to throw that out there. Why is everything so blue? If you've played Oblivion, you know, uh, Elder Scrolls Oblivion, you'll know that it does not look like this. The door's warded. We'll never get in this way. Damn it. Wait, who are you? When did you get here? Entryway. Damn it. Destroying the Sentinel must have triggered these wards. We'll need to find another way in. Maybe Cadwell can help us. Who's Cadwell? Cadwell is the oldest of the Soul Shriven. After years of torment, Soul Shriven usually go insane and turn feral. But not Cadwell. He was already insane before he left Tamriel. So shriven. Mad as a box of frogs, but completely harmless. How can a madman You'll possibly see, help Cadwell us? Cadwell sees things as he wishes them to be. To him, Cold Harbor is a wondrous place. It's his home. And he knows it like the back of his head. Let's hand. find Cadwell. I'm helping. I'm going to get a kill assist. Hell yeah, money! Gotta make that fat bank! Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't know how anyone's, you know, not going to come out of this place a millionaire. Alright, I think I'm going the wrong way. I am completely going the wrong way. I'm getting hit. Yeah, well. Someone will kill him. There's hundreds of people here. Jump! 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 Whoa, you look just like me. Alright. There's Cadwell. Also, listen to his voice. Hello, what's this? Out for a stroll then? Lovely day for it. Yes, you must be Cadwell. Sir Cadwell, yes, indeed, a pleasure. And fair lyrics. I'm a Good pimp named Slickback. Say the full thing every time, I thank you. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, that is inconvenient, isn't it? Tell you what, I happen to know another way. Look at this gross bananas. A scenic route, rather a fun I mean, jaunt, actually, full of traps and corpses and nasty beasties. This is the, the grossest thing I've ever seen in my life. Rather cautiously, I expect. Watch your step. Hold your nose and do mind the traps. The like is not be a fair. Right, where's the interest? Let's hurry this up. You'll find the door to the Undercroft at the water's end. Once you're inside, stick to the light, and you'll find a ladder that will take you right up to the Prophet straight away. Fantastic. Give it best of luck. All Do right. Check in now and again, won't you? All right, well, as much as I would love to know about you, Cadwell, and I'm sure you have a fascinating story, but, you know, 
Oh, oh yeah, I think I'm supposed to talk to her, maybe. Cadwell seems to think this Undercroft is a delightful God, place. Gosh, I bet she kick ass, dude. <laughs> All right. Okay, there it is. Or is that? Enter the. Under I'm stuck on my style. All right, let's see. Go away. Oh, well, that was easy. Money, gotta make that money. The Undercroft demon. Where was the Undercroft again? I guess I should have been paying attention. But I was too busy looking at those super gross bananas. Alright, let's see. Where the hell did he say it was? <laughs> I was just completely not paying attention. Let me get this way. Oh my god! Dude, just leave me alone for like five minutes so I can friggin' just get lost again. There we go. I actually think I did this differently last time. Like, I really don't remember. I mean, they're probably. I probably did, but I really don't remember doing this last time. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I don't remember coming this way. Like, I feel like I did it a different way last time. Oh, that's cool. Alright. Let's see. Alright, here it is. The Undercroft. The Under Lara Croft. <laughs> <laughs> as 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 Hunter would put it, just <laughs> anyway. So uh, I did notice something though, like when I was playing before, like all the chests are like empty. Like if someone's been there before you, they're empty, and it's like that sucks. <laughs> like to like get to the end of something and then only get like your base reward. Like this trunk should have something in it. Totally doesn't. All right, gotta wait, gotta wait, gotta wait. Oh, for, come on. Alright. Uh, let's see. See, like, all this stuff should have loot in it. It does not. So, I'm pretty sure, like, just if another person gets to it before you, you're just screwed. Which kind of sucks. And then I like how, um, you know, uh, Codwell was like, Oh yeah, this is going to be filled with beasts and, and all kinds of crazy stuff. It's going to be nuts. You don't even know how nuts it's going to be. And then it's like, yeah, this is one guy. And, yeah. Okay, so yep, another chest with nothing in it. All right, fantastic. Uh, no, I should have made it over there, but I hit a rock. All right, another skeleton. Here we go. You know, the the term oversaturation um, comes to mind when I <laughs> when I'm going while I'm going through this. Um, and actually, I do remember that I went through. No, no, go away, go away. <laughs> Looks like a he looks like a better version of a dro droder. What is that? I see I see cool things. Oh no, I don't. I see st stupid skeller. Come on, go! Ow! Ah, uh, that's a cool two-handed sword. That is a pretty cool two-handed sword. Um, but yeah, just because I'm playing a Breton and a sorcerer doesn't necessarily mean, I guess, that I have to stick with all the sorcerers. Okay, for come on. Oh, wait, is my familiar gone? I'll summon another one. There we go. Sweet, my familiar. It's also very Celtic that I would have a familiar, I feel. I could be completely wrong on that. Um, but I feel that it's very Celtic that I would have a familiar. Did I make a giant circle? I did not. Alright, fantastic. Alright, we are finally here. We're climbing up. Alright. <laughs> Had a little daisy moment. We're <laughs> climbing up Quickly that. Now. We haven't much time. Oh, come on. And this is pretty cool, I have to admit. Last time I believe those flames were blue. Um, alright. Alright. The good news is we made it here in one piece, and the prophet. Good is news unharmed. is this is almost over. Now the bad news. It's going to be up to you to keep They're not, not safe really and get in a bad way. I'm, just saying. I'm not going. I probably should have mentioned this before, but it never seemed like the right time. There's a trick to opening the cell. Ah, there's always the a price. The only way for a prisoner to leave is for another living soul to take their place. I've watched the anime, Hell Girl. I, I understand. Um. Believe me, I wish there was, but. I don't see anyone else here with a beating heart, do you? 
There are magical locking devices on either side of the cage. I would like to know you her need to story. Deactivate both of them so I can begin the transfer. Once it's done, I understand. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I feel like my character spaces out. <laughs> you know, just like, huh? Yeah. Okay. Good luck. Whatever. <laughs> like, like <laughs> then just like pieces out. It's like later. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Use is my familiar still here? Stupid fucking familiar. I give myself that the prophet might be free. Yay! Oh wait, no, I just heard. It. Oh yeah, there you are, you little imp. You know, in um, I believe familiars are actually supposed to be like your spirit, like guide. So if and like basically a representation of you. So, yeah. Sweet. Thank the divines you are safe. Yep. There is that at least. Yep. There is sacrificed everything that we might go free. Her sacrifice must not be in vain. Yep. Sweet. I wish that were possible. But I promise you, once we escape Cold Harbor, we will find a way to rescue her together, Vestige. Vestige. That is the name I have given you. You are but a trace of your former self. A soulless one, oh, okay. an empty vessel cool. that longs to be filled. Ah, it is that is very sexual, sir. I, but not exactly as I imagined. I was going to help you out. Now I'm going to tell you to lead your own blind self out. All right. Here, I'll just call it good. All right, I'm. Oh, I still have to talk to him. Okay. Thank the divines. Okay, okay. well, vestige. Okay, name. why is that is what I've come to be called. My true name is lost, even to me. Uh, Years yeah. of torment mm, have taken Because I'm toll. so cool. Quickly now, we must make haste to the anchor. Mm, to the anchor, yes. The anchors are Daedric machines. All right, stay close then. Let's do this. Uh, I don't actually know where we're going. Um, could you just <laughs> ask the blind guy, like, hey, so uh, where are we going? Uh, I don't really know. Why is it that like all prophets are blind? I mean, I mean, it, it's kind of cool, and in some weird ways it makes sense. But like, they're always blind. Like, they're always blind. It's like I get it. I get it. They're always blind. All right, sweet. Here we go. And here's another trunk that should have had loot in it. Here's some more pots that should have loot in it. But sure, shout out. The insects fight back. This would have been yet, so the coolest sad. boss battle of all time. But instead, Come, I will you. we get this. Okay, also, um, I guess I can't summon another imp. I want to summon more imps. I want to have an army of imps. Come on, imp. Do your imp thing. Do imp things. Okay, come on. Now I just gotta just gotta hold down left click for a little while, and then we'll be on our way to play with Hobbs. Do imp things. All right, I think I can. Let's see if I can. There we go. Go do imp things. Look at him taking all the heat off of it. There we go. Good imp. Good imp. All right. The dark anchor's portal is high above. The dark anchor. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. But hmm. first, you must reattune yourself to Nurn Nirm. in order to regain your what physical. Is it like Nurn root? Ethereal magicka that carries the essence of Nurn. Nirm. Some link them to Lorcan, the missing god of creation. If you collect and absorb its power, it should restore you. Alright, so yeah, like, the word Nern is kind of the noise I make when I <laughs> when I think about this tutorial level. <laughs> Nern. He's doing it for you. He hit me? What a jerk. Okay, I know what I have to do. <laughs> it is time. It's like I don't remember playing this, but I like can already tell you like what to do. 
First, you must activate the anger. Whoa, dude, you I had a super mood change. Calm down. Two devices on either side of me. Activate both devices. Whoa. I will begin the ritual. There is no need for yelling, sir. There is no way to know for sure. In fact, it's extremely unlikely we will both arrive at the same location. Fear not. I will find you again when the time is right. All right, very well. Now. All right, so now I got to go touch these. Got to touch wieners with these. All right. There we go. All right, and now. Great Agathos, dragon god of time. Your children are. All right, imp, stay here and be good. Got to They cry out for mercy. Gotta, See, there's stuff over there. Hear my voice, Akatosh. I, I don't want to go, honestly, strength. all the way over there, because it's always empty. So, Let the yeah, way be that. opened. Let these wandering souls return home. Let the will of Molog Baal be denied. Hurry! We must go now! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, jeez. All right, well, that was the first level of Elder Scrolls Online. Um, in all honesty, not my favorite tutorial I've ever played through in my life, but it was it was pretty impressive because you did have a whole big sense of wanting to go out and like you're like you're wanting to leave you know you want to get out in this big world but it's so confined and it like it actually I really do feel that played properly because uh, in all honesty I did not play properly but in all in all honesty if you play properly you you have a good sense of like wanting to go you know you like you want to leave and i think that you know that is the emotion that they're trying to convey uh, you know a wanting to get out in the world and everything um yeah so anyway um we will be back and we will play with hobbs i guarantee affidavit it so next time Oh, there's a cow ass. You know what's funny? This cow's butt is rendered better than that guy's dreads. <laughs> I'm just ew. It winces. <laughs> why would you why would you wince a cow's ass in a video game? Ew.